What if the greatest epidemic the Earth has ever feared has already infected the human race? What if human beings have been deceived into believing that fear is love, that war is peace, and that slavery is freedom? We're at war with the most dangerous enemy that has ever faced mankind in his long climb from the swamp to the stars. And it's been said if we lose that war, and in so doing lose this way of freedom of ours, history will record with the greatest astonishment that those who had the most to lose did the least to prevent its happening. Well, I think it's time we ask ourselves if we still know the freedoms that were intended for us by the founding fathers. Somewhere a perversion has taken place. Our natural unalienable rights are now considered to be a dispensation of government. And freedom has never been so fragile, so close to slipping from our grasp as it is at this moment. Whether we believe in our capacity for self-government or whether we abandon the American Revolution and confess that a little intellectual elite in a far distant capital can plan our lives for us better than we can plan them ourselves. You and I have a rendezvous with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man on earth, or we'll sentence them to take the last step into a thousand years of darkness. This is the story of your enslavement, how it happened, and how you can finally regain your freedom. This is Aldous Huxley, a man haunted by a vision of hell on earth. A searing social critic, Mr. Huxley, 27 years ago, wrote Brave New World, a novel that predicted that someday the entire world would live under a frightful dictatorship. Today, Mr. Huxley says that his fictional world of horror is probably just around the corner for all of us. Mr. Huxley, in your new essays, you state that these various enemies of freedom are pushing us toward a real-life brave new world, and you say that it's awaiting us just around the corner. First of all, can you detail for us what life in this brave new world which you fear so much, or what life might be like? Well, to start with, I think this kind of the dictatorship of the future, I think will be very unlike uh, the dictatorships which we've been familiar with in the immediate past. I mean, take another book prophesying the future, 